In recent weeks, there's been a spate of incidents believed to involve chlorine. These YouTube pictures show what opposition activists say was the aftermath of a barrel bomb dropped by the Syrian government. In each case, they claim chlorine in canisters was also packed into the barrel so that the gas would spread on impact. Now an investigative team from the Organisation of the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons is being dispatched to Syria. News welcomed in the Security Council by the US Ambassador. We welcome today's announcement that the OPCW is sending a mission to Syria to determine the facts on alleged chlorine gas attacks. Syria must immediately and fully cooperate with such fact-finding and anybody responsible for such attacks must be held accountable. In recent days, Syria's ambassador to the UN has made it clear he does not believe there have been any chlorine attacks. The aim of these kind of allegations emanating from Washington or elsewhere is to overshadow the successful preparations for the presidential elections in Syria. They will not spare any effort or any argument to overshadow the successful preparations for the presidential uh, elections in Syria. The investigators arrive in the country as a separate joint UN-OPCW mission continues its work removing Syria's chemical arsenal. That team says 92.5 per cent of Syria's chemical weapons have been removed or destroyed. The issue of chemical weapons has been surrounded by controversy from the start and there could be more ahead. Some Western diplomats are hinting that President Assad did not declare his entire chemical stock and may have hidden some of the deadly agents. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera at the United Nations, New York.